Hey Defenders, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to our web application pen testing series. So today we are in uh, challenge number 18 which falls under the stage 2 which is the intermediate category and we are in the question uh, which upon clearing you get 5 points, you use a hint or a clue, you lose 1 point. Let me quickly read through the question for uh, all of us and then see how to approach the particular challenge. Vinod Sindhil walks inside the hall of an enormous place. He can see beautifully decorated walls and when he goes to touch them, he finds out that there are jewels engraved in the walls. There are all parts of the hidden jewels. He holds the breath for he can't believe to have found a part of the treasure. It all starts clicking now. Not everyone can uncover the mysteries of the hidden jewels. Please be mindful, it's actually a double meaning language here, right? It says, it all starts clicking now. Not everyone can uncover the mysteries of the hidden jewels. Every person that wants to see the treasure for themselves must be validated. Wow, this is the most important giveaway for this particular challenge. It says, Vinod cannot believe that he is one among the validated few. Okay, this is the question, right? So let me tell you, this question can be solved again in a number of ways. But before I get started, I go click on this particular channel link. It opens up a page like this, right? Upon moving the mouse, it says play button, right? I am in a different page now, right? It says, sorry, try again. Okay, please be mindful. Any website or any page that you go, right, has something called cookies right and this particular challenge helps you to deal with cookies right please be mindful uh, we need to understand what is a cookie cookie usually is a temporary storage that is part of your browser for example let me tell you you log into a website right you have certain preferences of the website you want to uh, have a certain profile color for the page loaded you want the page to be blue color red color all that right this need not be stored onto the database on the back end right it can still be stored as a cookie value itself so what happens cookie value is a client side data that's stored where the browser reads the data from there itself and changes the page accordingly as simple as that and it also has a lot of preferences uh, uh, for uh, end user, a lot of preferences that I have can be stored there as a flag onto the uh, web page, right? Okay, now let's understand. Let's go to this google.com, right? Please be mindful when I go to google.com, I say JavaScript colon alert document dot cookie. See, when I do that, it actually pops up a box and shows me the cookie value. Cookie value is set by the website that we are browsing, right? Likewise, I go here, I say Java's colon alert document dot cookie. Wow, it says username Mohammed. Admin status equal to false, secret equal to value, right? But please be mindful, I'll read this last part of this question. Every person that wants to see the treasure for themselves must be validated, right? Which means that this portion, it says admin underscore status equal to false. What if I change this to true? Right? I, I want you to understand this, right? Say you go to a website, right? Random site. There is a username password that's asked to you, right? When you do this JavaScript colon alert document dot cookie, it throws up a cookie value before logging in and after logging in try the same process of checking the cookie value you will see that the cookie value has changed which means before authentication and after authentication the cookie value that is set is changed usually right which means that upon uh, correct login or upon right authentication there is a certain authenticated cookie value set right okay now there is a special kind of an attack. Think of this. I ask you to log in. You put the right username, password, login. Perfect. But before and after login, the authenticated cookie is set on your session, right? What if I steal that authenticated uh, thing and inject in mine? What are the chances, right? 
I may not even require a username and a password with which I need to log into that application because I already stole the authenticated cookie value, right? After authentication, that cookie value I steal from you and directly inject to mine. So my browser tells to the server that I'm also authenticated. I have the authenticated cookie value. You understand, right? So let's see if that attack is quite possible here, right? To do that, there are again multiple techniques in which I can do that, right? Number one, let me do it manually and then I'll also show you how it can be done automated. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity.